everybody, it's Amanda, and today I have another birthday book haul. Over the weekend, I went birthday book shopping because I had gotten some money, and my birthday is actually tomorrow, so I haven't even had a birthday yet, but I'm done buying books for a while because I bought a lot. But I'm going to show you what I found. Um, these are the books I found at Ollie's. Now, some of these are from other trips. I didn't buy these all at once, but I had been saving these. Some of them are from April. I'm just going to kind of lump them all together because they're all from Ollie's. So here we go. First thing I bought was this little box set. It is the Agatha Christie Mystery Collection. This was $4.95, I think. And it comes with three books and another little book. So it was a good price, and I was excited. So this is Clues to Christie, an introductory guide to Miss Marple, Hercule Poirot, and Tommy and, Tum Tommy and Tuppence, and all of Agatha Christie's mysteries. It also has three short stories. Then it came with The Body in the Library, and then there were none. I did read this one in April, so I bought this a little while ago. I think I bought this at the beginning of April. And Murder on the Orient Express. So I have to read these two. I'm excited to read them. But I thought it was such a cute little box set, and it was only $5, so I couldn't really turn it down. <coughs> Excuse me. So I got that, and I'm going to try to put them back in the box, and we'll see how I succeed with that. I did it. Okay. Then I got The Madness Underneath by Maureen Johnson. This is the sequel to The Name of the Star. It's in the Shades of London trilogy, or whatever it is, series, I have no idea. But I didn't even really know that at first. I just thought the cover was pretty because the cover is different from the one I have. I have this one. And this is the second one. Why do they do that? I don't know. But I did see on the back it says the name of the star. I actually kind of prefer this to this. But I think this is pretty too. So anyway, I got that for $2.99. And I'm just going to throw it right on top. So now it's put away. Okay, then I got another sequel, The Last Days by just Scott Westerfeld. And it's the sequel to Peeps that I just threw over there. I was going to show you. So now I have these two. I don't know if there's um more. I hope it's only these two. But I haven't read them yet. So I hope I like them. I think they're about vampires. I don't know. Then, because I just have trouble saying no to things like this, about the truth about forever by Sarah Dessen. This is, I'm, <coughs> I'm very close to having all of her books. So this is one ninety nine. I thought that it was really pretty. It's this new version, and so I bought it. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping I like Sarah Dessen because I have most of her books. I'm gonna have to read them soon. Then I was so excited to find this. I found Incarceron and Safik for one ninety nine each. And they're very pretty, and I'm looking forward to reading this. I think I'm going to enjoy this. This is about a prison, I guess, and I think it's like a dystopian story. And I think this is only two, there's only the two books in it. I hope it's a duology. They don't know. So, anyway, I got those. Then I was so excited. I keep saying I was so excited, but I really was. I was excited to find most of these books. This one was really exciting. Um, a Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Now, my Ollie's didn't have this. When we went away this weekend, we went to one that's an hour away that I had never been to. They had this. It was $4.99, but it's still a good deal because the list price is $22.99. And it is just, I see what the hype is about with um, the illustrations and stuff. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to reading it. And then it has this really cool cover. It's just, it's really an, a lovely book, to be honest. So I'm going to probably read this pretty soon because I think it'll be a quick read and I think my son might like this as well. So I'm excited about that. I was really excited to find that. Then I got Knit Fast, Die, Die Young by Mary Kruger. My son actually found this and was like, Mom, look, because I love to crochet, and I think he wanted to, like, show me this. And I was like, oh, cool. And I was $1.99, so I just kind of threw it in the cart. But I like these cozy mysteries, and I think this should be a fun story. Then I got Under the Dome by Stephen King. This is paperback, but and it's huge, and it's heavy. But it was $3.99, and... 
I did not watch the show. My, my husband did. My husband actually took this book out of the library and he didn't get through it, but because he wanted to return it to the library. So I bought it so he can read it, but I also want to read it. So $3.99, brand new Stephen King. Then I got The Talisman by Stephen King and Peter Straub, and this is a graphic novel. It was only 99 cents. It was reduced down from $3.99, $2.99, 99 cents. So it's really cool because it's got all these pictures. But I did start to try to read it and <laughs> I'm completely lost. I have no idea. So I don't know if I needed to know something before I read this. I don't know. But um, so far, I haven't really been feeling it. So we'll see. I might try it again at some point. Then I got Guilt by Katherine Longshore. Passion, Lies, Betrayal. Now, I had seen this at Ollie's before in hardcover, and I didn't like the cover, and I think that's why I never bought it. It's a historical fiction about a girl who tries to steal the throne from her friend or something like that, and I, I picked it up so many times, but when I found it in this cover, I decided to go for it, and it has pretty good reviews. I think it's a YA historical fiction, and it's supposed to be really good. Um, it takes place in 1539, and so we'll see how I like it. Then I got another Stephen King, 112263. Um, this one was only $3.99. I had seen this at Ollie's several times and turned it down, but I was afraid that I would regret it because I've been going through this big Stephen King kick for some reason lately. And I thought this one sounded good. I don't think this is like the horror genre that he sometimes writes. I think this is different. It has to do with time traveling. And I think it sounds really interesting. So someday I will dig into this massive beast of a book. So, okay. Then I got Troublemaker by Alex and Janet Ivanovich. And this is, I said I wasn't going to buy any more Janet Ivanovich. And then I found a graphic novel by her. Uh, it was only a $1.99. And now this seems like more my speed for a graphic novel than the talisman. Because it's just kind of cutesy and fun. So we will see. I'm going to read this one. Hopefully this month. Because I could count that as a book. And I think it will take one sitting. Which is kind of cool. So yeah. My camera is like slowly sliding. Sorry. I'm trying to. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to adjust this. Okay. I don't know if that made any difference. Probably not. Okay, then I got Sing You Home by Jody Picot. I have to be honest, the only reason I bought this is because I realized it has a CD with it that has songs that go with the book. So I'm excited about that. Um, we'll see what I think. Um, it has. I don't even really know a lot about it. I know it has to do with a music therapist. And so we'll see. Then the last book I got at Ollie's is 77 Shadow Street by Dean Koontz. This was $3.99. And I'm really thinking, I'm kind of intrigued by this synopsis of this book. It has to do with this old house. It's like an old palace and things start happening and it's creepy. And I'm excited to read this one. I think this one sounds good. So those are all the books I bought at Ollie's. I'm going to show you quickly because I also have three books that I bought at Big Lots. We went to Big Lots. They had a bargain book section. I was shocked. I didn't even know they did that. And I found, and not only that, but the bargain books were 50% off. So each of these books was marked down to a dollar, and I got them for 50 cents. So I spent $1.50 on all three of these together. Brand new books. So cool. Check Big Lots, please. It's awesome. I got Behind the Seams by Betty Hechtman. Um, this is a crochet murder mystery, which I'm excited to read. And I think the cover is just so pretty. And yeah. Then I got The Possibility of You by Pamela Redmond. And this, I'm not exactly sure. It has to do with three generations of women and something to do with, I don't know if it's adoption, I think, and choices we make and how they affect the generations after us, I think. Um, again, it was 50 cents, so I thought it was worth the risk. If I hate it, 
it was 50 cents. I could probably sell it at the yard sale for a dollar or 50 cents. And then the last one I got, the cashier, I was afraid she was going to try to take it from me because she said it was so pretty. And <laughs> she looked like she wanted it and it was the only one they had. She's like, oh, this is really nice. Um, it's called The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters. And it is. The cover is just very, very intriguing. And again, this is only 50 cents. But it has to do with like this old house. And... Um, I don't know if it has, if it's like a ghost story or, I don't know. It says that they are haunted by something more sinister than the dying way of life. Little does, there's, I don't know. I don't know, but I, I bought, <laughs> I will admit I bought this book. I did read the synopsis. I didn't understand it, but it's about a scary big old house and I like books about that. So, I am in a weird mood today. I am sorry that I'm being so goofy. But those are the books that I bought. I guess it's because my birthday's coming up, but I'm excited. Um, yeah, those are books I bought at Ollie's and Big Lots. So, I will be back one more time with part three of my massive birthday book haul for my Goodwill and Salvation Army books. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time in pretty soon. Bye.